Good evening everyone, we are glad to be here with you today. As you can see on the screen, our topic is discovering jazz in 1940s and 1950s. Before we begin our presentation for today, let me introduce our group members. Our first group member is Elisa Diadrakin, who will give an introduction of our presentation for today. Next, followed by Aurelia Vanessa, who will be explaining on history of jazz in 1940s. Siti Aisha will be explaining the history of jazz dance in 1950s. Angelica Surin will explain to you more on jazz dance style. Tarashini and Apumpan Pyramis will explain about the characteristics of jazz dance. Lastly, Lina Nabila will conclude our presentation for today. Let's get started. Good evening, I'm Elisa and now I'm going to present a little introduction about jazz dance. During 1940s, jazz dance was influenced by ballet and modern dance. By blending the classical technique of ballet with the natural bodily expression of modern dance, jazz developed a sophisticated artistic quality. The varieties of jazz dance reflect the diversity of American culture. For example, it's like earthy and low, knees bent, pulsating body movements emphasized by body isolation and also hand clapping. Jazz dance has been greatly influenced by social dance and popular music. But like so much that is from America, the history of jazz dance begins somewhere else. The origins of jazz music and dance are found in the rhythms and movements brought to America by African slaves. These two jazz forms of music has evolved together, each echoing and affecting developments. Like American choreographer, which is Agnes DeMille, she described the vital spirit of jazz dance as the true American pain, creativity, and fun. The bond between jazz dance and the United States is more than a spiritual. However, Jay's dance mirrors the social history of the American people, ethnic influences, historical events, and cultural changes. So, overall, this Jay's dance was influenced strongly by African elements of dance, movement, and musicality as American vernacular dance evolved. That's enough for the little introduction about Jay's dance. Now I'm going to pass to my friend that will talk about history of Jay's dance in 1940s. History of Jazz Dance in 1940s Just when social jazz dance was at its height, World War II put a stop to its popularity. Young men enlisted to serve in battle, while young women assisted the war effort in factories. Lack of attendance, intricate rhythmic patterns of modern jazz music, which were too complex for social dancing, led to the closing of dance halls and ballrooms. With the demise of social dance, Jazz dance grew in popularity as a professional dance form. During the 1940s, jazz dance was influenced by ballet and modern dance. Also, jazz dance developed a complex artistic quality by combining the classical technique of ballet with the natural bodily expression of modern dance. It was during this time that Man who later came to be known as the father of theoretical jazz dance was busy developing his technique. Jack Cole had studied modern, ballet, and ethnic dance who had been a student at Denishon and had done choreographic work in the nightclub scene. However, in this era, there was a serious demand for groups of trained dancers for film work and he was the one who started developing these trained jazz dancers for the Hollywood movie musical. Also, during this time, Gene Kelly began his movie career 10 years after Esther established himself in Hollywood musicals. Although Kelly missed out on the heyday of movie musicals, he made an impact with his individual, energetic dance style that combined athletic, gymnastic qualities with jazz and tap. Kelly's success in the Broadway hit Paul Joey in 1940 was his vehicle to Hollywood. His extensive list of film credits includes Anchors Away in 1945, in which Kelly combined live action with cartoon animation. 
on the town 1949 became an important film musicals as it was the first to be filmed with extended sequences on location, using the city as a set and paving the way for musicals such as West Side Story. Jazz dance is classification shaped by a broad range of dance styles. Before the 1950, jazz dance referred to dance styles that originated from African American vernacular dance. In the 1950s, a new genre of jazz dance, which is modern jazz dance, emerged with roots in Caribbean traditional dance. Every individual style of jazz dance has roots traceable to one of these distinct origins. Jazz was a big hit in the early 50s and it is still a well-loved style of all dance over the world. Movement used in jazz dance include jazz hand, kicks, laps, sideways shuffling, roll shoulders, and turned knees. The decade opened with a new attitude. The public wanted musicals with serious themes more than any other musicals produced in the early 1950s. Guys and Dolls epitomized the new stature of American musical comedy as a form of dramatic art. Every song, dance, and line of dialogue developed the plot. Other notable examples of the fusion of dance and drama in film are An American in Paris in 1951 and Singing in the Rain 1952, both choreographed by Gene Kelly. As we know, Michael Kidd is almost outstanding names of those who produced motion choreography in which dance further the storyline. He was an American film stage choreographer, dancer, and actor whose career spent five decades and staged some of the leading Broadway and film musicals of the 1940s and 1950s. His dance expertise is well noted in It's Always Fair Weather in 1955 starring Gene Kelly. His film work includes superb titles as Where's Charlie 1952, The Bandwagon 1953, Seven Bright for Seven Brothers 1954, Guys and Dolls and Lil Abner and Hello Dolly in 1969. Mary Frances Reynolds, as known as Debbie Reynolds, was an American actress, singer, and businesswoman. She was another familiar name in the movie musicals of the 1950s. Her career spanned almost 70 years. She was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer for her portrayal of Helen Kane in the 1950 film Three Little Woods. As the decade continued, the influence of Latin American music and dance enriched jazz dance and music immeasurably. Social dance had suffered a decline in the early 1950s. Perhaps, with the Korean War, McCarthyism, and the hydrogen bomb, Americans had little to dance about. But in 1955, youngsters would begin to dance to the new musical styles, rock and roll. Rock and roll was a recreation by white musicians of the kinds of music black musicians had been performed for 50 years. Teenagers now dance in their homes and add record hops to popular music that had a big and often monotonous offbeat. In 1956, Elvis Presley arrived from the South as a new teen idol and he transformed the sound of rock and roll. Presley presented a blend of hillbilly, gospel, blues, and popular music and introduced his songs to TV audiences. Meanwhile, in 1957, Leonard Bernstein and Jerome Robbins used Latin American rhythms in West Side Story, a landmark in American jazz dance Broadway productions. Choreographer Robbins thrilled audiences by using jazz dance to show the brutality and bravado of warring street gangs and the exuberance of Latin culture. During this period, Matt Mattox emerged as a major talent in the development of professional jazz dance. Mattox's technique involved the isolation of body parts and the view that the body, in its simplest form, is a straight line from which design can be created. The Mattox style is percussive, with strong angular movement and sharp accents, rebound and turns. Mattox choreographed for Broadway, television and ballet companies. In the late 1950s, jazz dance was theatrically presented on the concert stage by Elvin Ailey. 
in his choreography, which primarily reflected black experiences. Ali used a variety of jazz dance styles, one of the classics of the Alvin Ailey dance theater, such revelations. A suite of African American spirituals were premiered in 1958. Next, I will talk about the style of jazz dance. The term jazz dance has been used in ways that have little or nothing to do with jazz music. Since the 1940s, Hollywood movies and Broadway shows have used the term to describe the choreographies of Bob Foss and Jerome Robbins. Jazz dance has been influenced in many ways such as theater, social dance, classical dance, music genres, and many other styles. Some of the jazz dance styles are musical comedy, Latin jazz, and Afro jazz. For musical comedy, this style of jazz is usually performed on the Broadway stage and in early dance musicals. New York and London are the hubs of musical comedy jazz. Next is Latin jazz. It is influenced by Latin music and Latin social dance. The Latin music and movements make this a sensuous style of dance. Afro jazz stems from African movements explored by Catherine Dunham. It is often combined with ethnic dances of the Caribbean island. Okay guys, now we are going to look into musicals, people, clothing, and dance footwear. 1940s musicals and people. These are the dancers that were famous people of the 40s decade. Some musicals of this decade were of Oklahoma, 1943, Under Town, 1944, Fancy Free, 1944, Anchors Away, 1945, Jake Pearl, Police, 1946, and For Me and My Girl. Popular dancers were the Roomba, known for its romantic Latin style, and the swing from the Big Bang era, East Coast and West Coast swing came about. 1950s Musical and People Famous musicals of this decade were Guys and Dolls and American in Paris 1951, Singing in the Rain 1952, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers 1954, Damn Yankees 1955, New Girl in Town 1957, West Side Story 1957 and It's Always Fair Weather 1955. These are the dancers named that were very famous people during the 1950s. Clothing. The traditional attire for women has been leather and tights. The more traditional men's dance attire also consists of leather and tights. The tights which come in a variety of lengths can be worn under or over the leather. Dance footwear. Depending on the type of dance studio floor, shoes may or may not be required. Leather or canvas jazz shoe, the jazz sandal, the sweet strap sandal shoe, the jazz sneaker, or the dance trainer shoe. In conclusion, jazz remains to be an exceptionally advanced art that continues to evolve and grow in numerous directions. Apparently, the current jazz music sounds new and changed from the preceding music by integrating the classical technique of Billy with the natural bodily expression of modern dance, jazz created a rich aesthetic quality. Modern jazz has assumed various inclinations with musicians being able to employ its unique nature so as to generate distinctive and artistic styles although incorporating with the traditional jazz facets. The idea of music fusion, especially merging jazz with the other music genres, have given this music genre a fresh turn, commercializing in its copious ways. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and bye!